Last week, PlayStation announced that the subscription services known as PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now would be merging to create one bigger service that would offer three tiers of membership. Since then, speculation has been rife about what will and won't be part of the new PlayStation Plus, though we do know that console exclusives Returnal and Death Stranding will be a part of it. CEO Jim Ryan has cleared up some things, and teased what might be to come. Speaking on the official PlayStation podcast, Ryan was asked about what games we'd see coming to the new PlayStation Plus. He was tight-lipped, but he did say that, I'm going to play a little hard to get on that one, but I can tell you for free that we have massive publisher participation in this program. We have all the big names present. We obviously have PlayStation Studios present. But one thing that Ryan has been clear about recently is that PlayStation won't be following the Xbox Game Pass style of releasing first-party developed games straight into the service on the release date. So while titles like Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales will be part of the new PlayStation Plus, a game like God of War Ragnarok won't be, at least not at first. On the same podcast, Ryan said that PlayStation has what he refers to as a virtuous cycle of acquiring studios where the success begets further success. He added that if this were to change, we wouldn't be able to invest in the way that we're currently able to, so we're not doing it. We're going to stick to the approach that we have and has served us well for many years now. This ties in with a very similar statement that Ryan made recently to GamesIndustry.biz, where he reiterated again that PlayStation exclusives wouldn't be released day and date onto PlayStation Plus. Back on the podcast appearance, Ryan also confirmed that there are over 200 partners working with PlayStation to put content onto PlayStation Plus, and he says the lineup is going to be really strong. For the full breakdown of the upcoming changes to PlayStation Plus, and for what's new and what's next, head to nme.com.